Hi everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to do a paint pour using kind of some pastel colors and a couple of darker colors. They're all Liquitex Basics except uh, I have an Artist Loft Metallic Purple and Artist Loft Flow White. I'm going to put four drops of the Spot On Treadmill silicone into each cup and stir lightly. I've also pre-treated my cups, my four cups that I'm going to use with the Blaster Silicone Lubricant. That's so that the paint will release easily from the cup. So let's get started. I'm just going to give each cup a small stir. You don't want to stir too much because then you'll have smaller cells. Okay, let's get started filling our cups. I'm going to start out with putting some white in the bottom of each cup. And I think what I'm going to do is put two colors in and then put another layer of white on and then another two colors, another layer of white, and then the last two colors. I think that the metallic purple might have been a tad too thick. I was testing my torch today, my propane torch, right before I started videoing and I found out that it's out of gas. So I'm going to have to use my little butane torch, which is not nearly as effective. So I'm kind of bummed out about that. Hopefully I'll get a lot of cells without having to torch very much. I think maybe I better put another layer of white between the yellow and the magenta. Not sure about those two together. Okay, I have a little bit of purple left. I'm just going to throw a little bit in the top of each one of these, use it up. Give each little cup a little stir. Oops, overshot that one. Hate to waste paint. So I'm gonna let those sit for a moment. To let them all run down to the bottom. Shouldn't take long since I pre-treated the cups with the blaster silicone. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, I'm afraid that one's gonna run off. Let's see if I can tilt some of that back. having a klutzy day. <laughs> Colors are beautiful. Kind of bummed I lost so much paint over the side. See some beautiful cells coming up right here and there. Happy with that. Let this sit for a moment, see what else happens to pop up and then I'll torch it with my little wimpy butane torch. It's going to be a big difference. I'm so used to using the powerful industrial propane torch. Some beautiful cells right there. I'm loving that. Okay, let's give it a little torch. Literally, a little torch. <laughs> this thing's about as useful as a matchstick. Barely popping the air bowl. I don't really care for that part right there. It's nothing, nothing going on there. Put some on the corners to try to help it over the edge. I actually wouldn't mind if I lost a lot of that right there. It's kind of boring. I 
Yeah, that part's completely boring. I don't like that at all. I wonder what would happen if I scraped some of that away. Well, that's better. Got some of the purple to come up through there. I'm going to try putting a little rain -X on here and see what happens. Maybe I'll torch it again first. Really liking these cells pretty much everywhere except there's not that many cells here. I might put a little bit of rain -X right there and right through there. Should I rain -X or should I just leave it alone? I don't know if I should leave well enough alone or chance putting rain -X on it. What do you guys think? Uh, let's live dangerously. I'll put a little shot of rain -X. This is the rain -X original formula. It creates instant cells. However, they're not very big. They're usually small, but anything will do right now because there's nothing here. To me, it's kind of ugly. So I'm just gonna give a shot of it. And then maybe a little shot right here. Rain-X is flammable. You're really not supposed to torch it or put a flame near it, but I like to live dangerously. Note to self, go have the propane torch refilled before next painting, because this thing bites. Mm, not seeing much in the way of cells there. A few little baby cells. Maybe more will come up the longer it sits. So anyway, here you have it. I hope you enjoyed this and I thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Stay tuned for close-ups. I'll see you next time. Bye.